Hey guys! So it's been a little while since I've done a video working in a sketchbook, and when I was trying to come up with an idea for my next video, it just felt right. There were a lot of different things that seemed to fall into place, and so that's what I'm doing here. The main thing that sort of inspired this video is actually the sketchbook that I'm working in. And this is part of a project known as the Sketchbook Project. Now, if you don't know what the Sketchbook Project is, essentially it is a project in which you purchase a sketchbook, they send you a sketchbook, you fill it up, you send it back to them, and then it becomes part of an exhibit where people can actually go and look through all of the different artists' sketchbooks. This is actually a project that I have been wanting to participate in for years. I heard about it way back probably eight or nine years ago, and I never managed to actually get around to it. For a while, I actually thought that the project had been closed completely because the sources that you once went to were not very well organized or it did close for a few years or something, and I had pretty much given up all hope of ever being a part of this project. However, back a few months ago, I actually came across the project again, and it was kind of incredible. It was a thing that I didn't expect to ever see again, and it came out of kind of nowhere, and it just felt right. So I purchased my sketchbook, and I became very overwhelmed. I kind of talked about this briefly in my last video, the idea of becoming so overwhelmed with wanting things to be perfect that you just kind of stop doing anything. And that was definitely what was happening with this sketchbook. They actually extended the deadline for this particular sketchbook project by about a month, but when I recorded this, I did not know that. All I knew is that I had about two weeks to finish the sketchbook because I had been putting it off for so long. It didn't help that I had been wanting to become a part of this project for such an extended period of time, and that expectation was really making me want to do something incredible. However, I knew that if I never got started on it, I would obviously never finish it. Another big part of what was holding me back were themes that you had to stick to. I ended up picking the word connections because it felt very me. It felt like a way that I could blend my different interests because they're all connected in some way to me. All of the stories that I tell, all of the pictures that I create, they're all related and they're all connected. So it felt very personal and it felt very genuine. However, I started getting inside my own head about it and it was really starting to hold me back. As such, I decided to start this little mini series of videos over here on YouTube where I will basically be recording myself working on this sketchbook project and kind of discussing what I'm doing or different things that have come to mind as a result of it. The funny thing was that once I started actually working on the sketches on these pages, the ideas started to generate themselves. I was coming up with ideas faster than I could get them down on paper, and Although I know that this is something that happens to me, I was stopping myself from generating ideas by not starting in the first place. The concept that I have tentatively decided upon is a sort of storytelling element, and I want each page to lead into the next page. I plan on overlaying some text that goes along with each of the sketchbook pages that acts as a kind of poem slash story to really add to the idea of connections and explain where I'm coming from. This may be another example of a time in which I overextend myself and I procrastinate to the point of putting a lot of pressure on myself, but 
I am hoping to keep the actual drawings themselves fairly loose and sketchy. The two pages I was working on in this video were actually done exclusively in ballpoint pen with a little bit of ink wash. I do plan on doing some loose watercolor over the top of the ballpoint pen if I have time to do that. Mainly, I just want to get the actual drawings down on the page and then I can decide where to go from there. One last note about the actual pages themselves is that you actually see me drawing a robot. And this is something I've been doing a little bit more of this month specifically. It's something that I've always wanted to get into. It's something that has always been very interesting to me, but it's been very intimidating and it feels sort of out of my reach. However, there is a challenge for March that is called March of Robots, and essentially the challenge is to draw robots in March. As with Huvember, which is another challenge I have mentioned on this channel before, I am intending to keep March of Robots kind of loose and sketchy, and if I miss a day, it's not really a big deal, mostly because I only want to use these challenges as motivation, not an excuse to come down hard on myself. So that's kind of what you can look forward to on this channel in the future, more videos on pages in this sketchbook, you will be able to see it evolve with me, and I'm excited to share that process with all of you. A couple of other things I wanted to mention before I go are, one, that I actually hit a thousand followers on Instagram, and that absolutely blows my mind. And if any of you guys are following me over there, I just wanted to say thank you so much because it really means the world to me. And the second thing is that I have released my second Skillshare class. If you haven't seen the intro video that I uploaded to this channel last week. And that class was kind of another one of the things that made me want to upload a sketchbook video because the class is actually on keeping a sketchbook and I go through several different little prompts that you can use to fill your sketchbook pages as well as talk a little bit about general tricks of the trade, I suppose you could say. If you follow the link in the description below, you can actually get two free months of Skillshare Premium, and you can access all of the classes on their entire website. And just a little extra boost, I'm very, very close to finishing another class that is very focused on super basic drawing techniques. So drawing for absolute complete beginners, if you're interested in that as well. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if I sounded a little bit nervous or my throat is a little bit scratchy because both of those things are true. I hope you all enjoyed the video. You can subscribe if you want, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.